up back and keep it at the first because we're beginning right now we've been listening to some shiniko or sniko dude talking shit about women well playing you have to date someone that's ugly to be treated right i'm not you know why is this fat ugly Still talking about ugly people. You are literally the ugly of the group. And the reason she doesn't realize how ugly she is is because she's with three that are all better than her. So she thinks that she's on the same level. That's what happens when you're in a group of friends. They all kind of become the same. Once they split apart and they diverge, the attention gets spread apart. Because they're in a pack, go, go, go. She yeah, so thinks well, she's valuable. She Bro, she's so she's gassed God. up right now, and you're a three. You're a f Stop insulting men. This is why we need to objectify women too, because this is so f gassed up. Suddenly, rules of modern dating and understanding women. It's complicated. This channel's dope. There are many women today who are out earning men, female doctors, lawyers, etc. Why is a male breadwinner considered to be normal for a man, while a female breadwinner is often considered to be dating down for a woman? Um, I think a lot of times we refer to back in the days when men were considered the breadwinner. Every video. This. You could tell her opinions. She's gonna say stupid shit within two minutes because of these. I guarantee you. They were the men. They were the people that brunk all the. Every blink, it just sounds like I can hear like a Disney cartoon <laughs> sound effect. Home the money while the women stayed home. So now the generation. Try to watch your blink and not hear things it. Have changed yeah, and no things have changed. You know. Now land. women are getting on their shit. Like it's not just rely on a man anymore. It's do for your own. He's gonna do for himself, and you guys can either do that. Shit I don't need no man. Together or, you know, one person could be the breadwinner. I guess it all depends on what you agree on in your relationship, but I really do think that it has to do with the change over time. Why is it that a rich- Look at the- bro, look, both of them, both of them. <laughs> man would sooner change a broke woman's <laughs> life, but a rich woman is less likely to give a broke man a chance. Every- they blink a lot too. I feel like you need to blink twice as much because your eyelids just weigh more. And so every, I can't take what they say seriously because I hear the Disney cartoon effect. <laughs> because men like to have the power to uplift and feel like they're doing, I guess, like justice to the woman versus a woman is like, I don't need to. My mama is spent. I guess. You know what I'm trying to say? Kind of. I wouldn't necessarily agree with the second part of that question because I honestly think it's more of a societal stigma. Societal society? Where society just kind of like says that women have a problem being with a man of a certain financial uh, you know, status. I, I don't necessarily think that that's what we as women think right off the bat, but. A rich man see the future in a, in a woman, and we got build them up. But a woman already feels when they got money that they women don't know how to date down. They mentally cannot do it. They're very egotistical. People don't really talk about that. That's an egotistical thing to not ever be able to downgrade. As soon as they date a guy with a car, they can't ever date a guy without a car. As soon as they date a guy with a house, are you kidding me? They're gonna go to a guy with an apartment? They just got house dick. You can't go to a condo dick. They already built up, and they wouldn't want to build us up. You feel me? They feel like they're better than us when they have money. You're a broke or all this when they got money, but when it's the other way around, they want us to pay for their bills and up their finances. You stay with all you know? I think we all have standards, but women are always told all their life, don't settle, don't settle, don't settle. So when it comes to a man that is making less money than you- And they should. You should settle. Because everyone, it's just like, you're not that unique. You're not that different. How many do we have saying the same stuff in these same interviews? You are, you're, you're the breadwinner, whatever the case may be. You feel like you're settling, you're settling for less, you're settling for, like, you, you feel like you deserve more, whereas Ego. a man takes leadership and accountability and can be that leader in that relationship that a woman cannot be. No, she said they can't take accountability. Maybe I got distracted, maybe she actually is gonna make sense. Okay. What is hypergamy? Ooh, I don't know, that's a big word. <laughs> okay, hypergamy essentially means marrying up- Not that big of a word, those four syllables. ...to a person of higher status. Which gender is more likely to practice hypergamy? The woman, I'll be honest. Okay, why is that? Cause you can't settle. Ding, ding. I would say I can only speak for myself, and it's like knowing that if I'm make if I'm doing so well in life, like yeah, I would want to either marry equal or up. Like, why would I downgrade myself if I know again what I'm capable of or what I'm earning? Okay. So if uh, women historically good. married up, everybody saying that destiny made me look silly. Go put on a mask. Go hand out masks in a park. Get another booster shot. And get out of my stream. Go social distance. Continue. Wouldn't that mean that men historically married down? I mean. Doesn't that mean that men historically married down? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like 90% of married guys are with women that make less, that, you know, need leadership, that don't take accountability, that whine, and then the man has to fix it. That, that's just what a marriage is. Why well, it's not that confusing of a question, but they're really putting it, putting the pieces together for the first time. Because they don't even have to do the thinking. When you're married to a guy with a higher status, you don't even think about it. It's just like, this is la dee da let's go on a picnic now. So who's really settling for who? But it's, in society, women have oh, always been the prize. 
So it's the Chip woman up. trying to earn the woman's attention. I mean, the man trying to earn the woman's attention or, you know, win her over. So at the end of the day, we're the catch. So it's the Chip man up. trying to get us. So, no, he's not marrying down even if, per se, I don't make as much as he does because, again, he's happy to have me on his arm. Which gender is more likely to practice hypergamy? Men, females. Females? Why do you say men? Why do you say females? It's just naturally in them to do that. No, females marry higher up okay. all the time. Okay. They um, marry for money. Okay, so they're not gonna- One more time, did you see the- Bing? This one is like, it's almost touching her friend. All the time. Bing? Okay. Bing? They marry uh, for money. Okay, so they're not gonna mess with a guy that's broke. I mean, if you're a guy that's broke and you have nothing to offer a woman, right? Why would a woman mess with you? Most women will not, okay? So, you know, you, you gotta have something going for you as a guy, a good, good personality, good looks, none of that means nothing. Most women want uh, stability as in money. Is he and, high? You know, as a lifestyle. Like when you talk about the big dream, the big dream is like, oh, I wanna live in maybe a big house and marry- I'm a queen, I'm a queen. Marry into a good life and stuff like that. But I think where we came from in Denmark is quite equal as it is right now. Definitely. definitely. It depends how you, how good your education is. And yeah. in our case, our education would be just like the male, the male yeah. men. Definitely. But that's like the American dream. Okay. If women historically married up, wouldn't that mean that men historically married down? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How, how is this the first time that they ever think about it? You need to be better than a chat. That's what a relationship is, as a woman with the guy that she looks up to. Better. You need to be better than her. But you can't ever spell it out because, well, what do you mean better? But that's what it is. A marriage and a relationship, a girl's always with the guy that they respect, who's done more, who knows more, who's better. I mean, so the way you put it together, yes. Yeah. So, so who's really settling for who? I think as soon as you get married, the man settles for the women. The man is always settling. In every situation, the man always has to settle out of certain You have to settle down. That's why they say that. That's why people say I'm immature when I say that I, I want to fuck a lot of hoes and stuff like that and I don't want to be monogamous. One day you'll be mature. One day you'll grow up and settle down. Why do I want to settle down? I like fucking hoes. I like having mo I want to have like a mansion with 10 of them running around naked. Three in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, one in the vent, one over there. Oh, that, the one in the vent, she doesn't talk much, but she's there like spying. That's what I want. And they want you to, so you should, one day you're gonna settle down. That's like cutting your balls off. That's like neutering your dog so that it stays in the crib. That's what a, that's what a domesticating a dog is. You cut his balls off and then he's like, Bleh, and then he stops humping the pillow. I wanna always hump the pillow. I'm humping legs out here, boy. Because there's no woman that you're gonna meet that's gonna check every single box. Eventually, you're gonna have to settle. Okay, is hypergamy for women ultimately about security? It's funny, I never thought about that. They never say it's settling down for a woman. A woman is like, it's congratulations when you get married. It's a big celebration. The wedding is all about the woman. She's the one who gets the big dress up thing, all the flowers, the cake. The man just wears a basic ass suit. That's why they need a bachelor party before because it's like, damn bro, one last time of immaturity before you gotta settle down. For women, that's their big day. They cry when they're putting on the dress, when they're picking it out. It's, that's their big celebration. It's not settling down. You made it. I've never thought about that. Security and survival. What are you saying? Survival. Okay. Is hypergamy for women ultimately about security and survival? Yes. Making it. I can't say that. I, I have to disagree. But you, you know why she can't say that? Because it's the truth. I disagree because a lot of women, like about those two, those two definitely, but financially that's a big thing. Isn't that a byproduct of evolution? I mean, didn't women want to secure the best genes for their offspring? Isn't that a primal instinct? Yeah. yeah. So then wouldn't it be about security and survival? Yeah, yeah. I, I have to agree then, yeah. Is hypergamy for women ultimately about security and survival? I think yes. It could be. Is Guys, that what a, are we doing? <laughs> is, that, is that a byproduct of evolution? It's touching her eyebrow. <laughs> Sorry. Well, yes, women look for attractive. Don't they blink more? I feel like I just, I can't stop looking at the blinking. traits and they're male to secure them and their offspring. Sure. And that's like I think thing. men marry down because the girl's good looking what? and women marry up for because security. for like money. For everything else, because you gotta be better. You need to be richer, smarter, stronger, and you just gotta fucking blink, 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 blink. And stuff. And they have to be good looking. But you know what? Also like, why is she the one who said that? No, okay, I don't want to fucking objectify. Why would you call out the fat, ugly one? You should not pretend like she's a three. Far, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She's a queen. Men are up ugly anyway, so who even really cares? Of course she's the one. Of but you know what? All men end up ugly anyway, so who even- All men end up ugly? Nah! This is why we need to body shame more look. Bro, come on. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, stop. Whoa, relax. Why are you so- Go to therapy. Sorry. What? Look at her. That shit doesn't make you mad. Even really cares. <laughs> and they mended it up ugly. 
but I'm 25 and fat as fuck. What? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, actually, I'm not gonna include myself in this. Bro, I'm sweating, yo. I need to relax. Yo, it's complicated. Your videos are goaded. This shit gets me fucking excited, man. <laughs> but a lot of women are just looking for the richest man. That's a thing. They just want to find the one with the most money. Whereas some are looking for some that will accept them. It's different for everyone, but majority are looking for the one. So do you think that women are looking for sugar daddies and men are looking for trophy wives? Ooh, shit. Uh... Yes. That's the reality of it. But you all live in delusion, so you don't ever even acknowledge this stuff. But you know this is what it is. But you gotta live in so much la la land with your lashes that you don't even need to confront reality. Instagram, it's just a distraction. But that's what it is. You need to look good. We need to be something. We need to be something. And you never have to be shit. You can be ugly as fuck and say nonsense, and all your friends will laugh. That's your existence. Men's existence is having to be somebody. Fuck, man. I wish I could just staple this shit on my face, and that's it. I gotta agree with you on that one. D guys, don't, don't fight me. Does hypergamy mean that women will always continue to choose the best option and never settle? Mm, no, because a lot of women settle. Right, but do they want to settle? Even the ugly, yo, the women don't want to settle. The ugliest one just said, men are ugly. Women never, they'll always upgrade. They'll all, that's what I'm saying, they're egotistical. They'll always look for the better option. So you have to focus on yourself. You can't get tired and start falling in love with a bitch because as soon as you fall in love the way she falls in love, she'll leave you. She'll say some shit like, I just want to focus on myself. I just want to grow. I just see, and you're like, what? I thought I gave you all the flowers. But I just think that, like, I, individually, I need to go fuck other people. And so, but, but I wrote you a poem. Stop doing that. Focus on yourself. The hoes will flock. No. So they would want to choose the best option, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, women are picky, as is. So it's like, they're going to always choose the best option for who they want and who they want to be with. Please. They're not gonna settle for less, they're gonna settle for the top dog. Some women are- oh. It's just nature. That's what happens in the animal kingdom too. The alphas have to fight it out. The gorilla alpha back, the fucking silverback gorilla, kills all the other men. All right, they beat the shit out of the other gorillas and then he gets all the bitches. And then eventually all the other men, all the other gorillas are like lurk around salty as hell, waiting for him to be weak. They kill him in his sleep and then they get some pussy. Same thing with lions, same thing with every species. They all have to dance and everything. The females go to the strongest. It's just evolution. We need to make the species stronger. It's wired into us. It's not unique. So the 8% some bitches in here will be like, that's not all girls. But, but I'm not like that, but I love my boyfriend. You're all like that. That's evolution. So set on not settling that they never find that perfect person. And it's just, they just keep looking, keep looking, and they're gonna look until they find no one, because no one is going to check all those boxes. Okay, is hypergamy the equivalent of men never satisfied with only one chick? I mean, a man of high status is always gonna have multiple options. Like, that just comes with a man. Just like the silverback gorilla, you get all the bitches, and the bitches are fine with it. And who has money like that, or even has that type of quality of life. Is hypergamy the equivalent of men never satisfied with only one woman? Yep. Men is never yep. satisfied. I don't even... Because that's all, all you got. Lee, lee, lee. And so once you become better, then lee, 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 you want multiple. Lee, lee, lee. It's nature. Why would I just want one of you when I'm better than all of you? I think it's about <laughs> women. I think it's about men are just never satisfied. How could you say that? How could you? But I love my husband. We've been married for 40 years and we share the same food. Period. Money. They're not satisfied Women's with career. themselves. Men is not satisfied what? with... Or is it men always wanting the girl with the best looks? Yep. Yeah, they definitely want a pretty girl. Okay, but I'm just yeah. saying, if women are always looking for the best option, wouldn't a man always be looking for the best option as well? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so is that kind of like a similar, comparable thing, you know? Yeah, it is. Okay. What is the difference between a hypergamous woman and a gold digger? I feel like... Nothing! <laughs> Dating, really, if you break it down, is just extended prostitution. It's just longer form. I need to go take you out. Oh, here's a dinner, and here's my apartment, and I'm going to pick you up, and I'm going to pay for everything, sure, and you're going to sit like this. Yeah, you're speaking facts. I like that. My guy, just relax, man. Those women come protect themselves. Nah, man, I don't relax. When the bill comes, and then maybe you'll give me some pussy. The only difference <laughs> is when you go to the strip club where you get a whore, it's just direct. Here's money, give me your body. Dating is just the longer form of that. Here's everything I can provide. My charm, my funniness, my conversation. Hey, what's up? I put on, you know, I'm here looking good, taking you out to nice places, showing you nice experiences, bringing you to a restaurant where I know the waiter. So like getting you drinks, taking you out, take me on an adventure, flying you out. It's just extended prostitution. Because ultimately, what does the woman have to give besides this and pussy? Nothing. It is what it is. The uh, hypergamous woman is looking for someone to do what we were used to back in the day, lead, um, be the breadwinner winner of the family, someone who is just the provider. A gold digger is someone who just wants, 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 wants. If you're in a high pregnancy Which is every girl. relationship, the woman is still providing, the woman is still doing, the man like is doing that. a lot more. Gold digger is just gonna take, 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 never give, ever. Okay, a gold digger is just looking straight for money. Like, they don't really care about what the guy looks but like. But there's no difference between money and security. Those go hand in hand. Like, what he has to offer, they just want the money. 
Uh, well, actually, they do care about what he has to offer. If it's money and luxury or any type of things that they can get from him, then yeah, they'll do it. But uh, you said hypergamy? Yeah. Okay, so with that, um, if you or if they uh, go for that, they kind of want to find love in the sense of, you know, quality of life that they have. Do you find it hypocritical when parents advise their sons to avoid gold diggers while also advising their daughters to find a man who will take care of them? Um, a little bit. Well, what a good ass question, man. I mean, obviously, a okay. woman. So, isn't hypergamy encouraged in women? Yes. I feel like in this day and age with social media and everything, it is, yeah. Of course, we're going to want to lead our children to the right direction. And if we're raising a son, we're going to raise them to try to find a woman that can balance out their lives. Whereas our daughters, we can't just. Me personally, I would never let my daughter slack. But also, what? a man who is able to provide is a man who I believe is able to lead a family and raise a family and make things what they should be. Make things what they should be? What does that even mean? She happen. said that like it was normal. Check, can someone decide, make things what they should be? You just gotta figure it out. It's just, you just gotta figure shit out for yourself. I know. People raise different things. Make things what they should be. Some people might raise their kids like that, but at the end of the day, we oh, all well. want our children to have the best in life, an and it's better when they have a spouse that they parent approve of. What is the difference between a hypergamous woman and a gold digger? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing. Because again, if we're not just talking about finan finances, you know, uh, oftentimes people marry for, you know, love and, and stuff like that. So if, if there's other factors that are associated with that, then I would say that differentiates her from being a gold digger. Do you think unconditional love is possible in a romantic relationship or are people only as loyal as their options? I, I, I think unconditional love is uh, definitely a thing if both partners are 100% invested, I'm I'm almost positive that it will work. Um, you only be 100% invested as long as I keep making money. You can't be invested if I'm not. Um, I mean, curiosity will always be a thing no matter what. That's, not, that's something you cannot stop. But if you don't act on it, then yes. What are your thoughts on the following statement? A man's loyalty is tested when he has everything, while a woman's loyalty is tested when her man has nothing. I feel like that is true. I feel like when... A man is down and out, that's a woman's escape goat to get out the relationship and out the system. And I feel like when a man is up and has everything, power, money, women, oh, that exact that's thing. when you know if he really loves you and he's loyal if he sticks by your side and holds you down, ten times down, always. I agree with that 110%. That is, that's so then, valid. So, then, so wouldn't that mean that people are only as loyal as, as their options? Oh, you're stressing me out. Unconditional love is bullshit. Yes. Why are you doing this? Oh my God, but you're telling me things that I never really thought about. I'm not exactly. How have you never thought about this? Because you just get to go on Instagram, guys flood every day. She's attractive, so you don't even need to be in reality. La la land, take me on a picnic. What you want to hear, I'm telling you what you need to hear. My boyfriend just broke with me. This is everything I need to hear. Really, we got with me? Yeah. <laughs> have you noticed the things? Don't you cut, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro. Can compete for women? Yes, very much so. What do they do? Uh, one up each other. Uh, yo, what? Competitive talking. Uh, and everything that men do, of course. What are the things women do to compete for men? Market themselves. Uh, Put on longer lashes. Whoever's got the longest lashes in charge. Outslide each other, if you will. If hypergamy is part of a female's nature, don't you think more people should know what it means? Yes, but that, they're not ready for that talk. Go. Is competition good or bad for society? Good. That's good. Why? Because it keeps you at the tip of your toes, top of your game. Just like the marketplace, you need competition and capitalism within businesses. McDonald's is good because Burger King is bad. What are the things men do to compete for women? Make more money. Dress nice, drive nice things, but people don't understand the psychology of a woman. You do that stuff for yourself, the woman gonna find you. So you ain't gotta do something to impress a woman. You do something to level yourself up. And that's when the women be like, see you and be like, ah, you know, now it's a competition for real. What are the things women do to compete for men? It's a more makeup. Uh, Ass implants, lip filler. Lip filler, that's a big one. And I'm not gonna do it. Outfits, the nails. For some reason, the eyelashes, we don't even like that. Y'all gonna be doing the eyelashes. It's, I don't know. Thank you, thank you! Who told y'all that was cute? Thank you! <laughs> oh my God, man. Yo, let me hear it one more time. Let me hear it one more time. I don't know who the fuck started that, but y'all gotta stop. <laughs> it's done, man, it's clipped. Look at you, the shit goes down to your cheekbones. It looks goopy. You look like a fucking peacock, man. Y'all gonna be doing the nails, for some reason, the eyelashes, we don't even like that. Y'all be doing the eyelashes. It's, I don't know who told y'all that was cute. Who started, who started that? Can we date it forever? Chat, show all the, the 8% right now. Spam L on the eyelashes, because I'm fucking sick of it. They need to see that shit looks goofy, bro. Who started, sweetie? Was it the female rappers? 
Spam L on the lashes. Stop giving me W bro. I need to get one more time. I don't even like that. Y'all just doing the eyelashes. I don't know who told y'all that was cute. Does a woman's hypergamous nature fuel men to compete with each other? It looks just like the leaves in the back every time, man. I, it's so distracting. Thank you for the L's. 8%. You see that? Nobody likes those lashes. L lashes. Eyelashes. Eye Shut up. That was, that was dumb, but you get it. Please stop. Please. Yes, 100%. Is competition good or bad for society? It's terrible, because men will kill someone over a woman. Okay, but doesn't that also encourage men to improve themselves? To a certain extent. So would it be good and bad? Yes. Since most women want the top men- Is that guy really gonna go on a date with her? Please don't. Won't that mean they'll have to share them? I've never seen more L's in my stream than for these fucking lashes. Look at her, it has a whole silhouette to it. It weighs more. It's like a whole nother feet. It's another organ on your body. It, it just doesn't look good. It's stupid. Have you ever kissed a girl and this shit scraped you? You see when they have to take it off at the end of the day? You know, like, have you ever woken up the next morning and you seen the fucking, like, on the table just laid out, like, rings, like, jewelry? This is, like, it's just so stupid. This is a Halloween costume. Well, everybody top is not the same thing. Do you think that women will start marrying down or not at all? Yes, I feel like these days a lot of men, women marry down because a lot of women are in power now over men. And we make more money, we're graduating with more degrees and things like that. So I feel like we're stepping up and men are kind of stepping down a little bit. Interesting. Okay. And they seem happy about it, but they also don't realize how this ruins the whole game. If you're in charge, you can't lead us. Why, like they, you know why they're smiling? Cause like, yeah, we have power. I'm in charge. You don't even want to. You're doing it out of vengeance. It's goofy. You're happy now. This is gonna crumble. This shit, it's like the fucking housing market. This shit's gonna pop. And it's, you know what it is? The bubble's your ego. Okay. Do you think that hypergamy leads to polyamory? Mm. <laughs> I gotta think about it. Cause it's kind of like, it, it does in a certain way because it seems like everybody is out to get something. I can't even listen to what she's saying because of this now. I cannot stop. It's uh, maybe, bro, I cannot, I literally cannot focus on what she's saying. From someone, every they, it, they, I swear to God, they blink every five seconds. It's more than me, right? It, it must be heavy. 8%. Is this shit heavier for some reason or are you just doing it on purpose to flood your face? Everybody is trying to advance. It don't matter if you're a Look, that was three blinks in one second. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not. I know I'm not. Well, woman, people get in relationships to advance in a way. If you was the ugly guy who couldn't get the cute girl, now you've grown and you got money, you're gonna go after the beautiful woman. If you I can't, was, I can't. I'm not even hearing what she's saying. The girl who didn't have a lot of money and stuff, you're gonna go after the man who can take care of you and get you to the next level that you want to be. Every 8% talk to me. There's, there's got to be some correlation with the weight of your eyelashes, your eyelids, and how much, because, yo, Chad, you see what I'm saying now? I, I might know about DM, but like we need to get, we need to stop this. Maybe this stream could be a start of a revolution on your goofy ass faces. I don't want to see this on my desk in the morning anymore. I'm gonna throw them out. Next time I see this, on, I'm gonna throw it out. I'm gonna be like, oh, I thought it was a bug. I, I, I killed it. I swatted it with a magazine. I thought that was like two mosquitoes. Everybody is out for the next thing. Everybody is out for the best thing, and that's for themselves. If most women want to date the top men, won't that mean they have to share them? Eventually. Okay, no sharing should be ever. Well, all happen. I'm saying is, as women become more powerful. Breaking? and become higher status. Doesn't their dating pool of men to choose some shrink? There's literally, one of them is blinking. They're like birds in unison flapping their wing. It looks like two, like four pigeons eating food and then just <laughs> flatter their wing like every, it, look, look, pay attention. Trust me, once you notice it, you will not be able to hear them. Because most women want to date a man on their level or higher. Yeah. Yeah. Every so second. So once again, every is second. it true that women would often rather be the emperor's mistress than the peasant's <laughs> wife? So if a woman wants a loyal man, wouldn't she have to settle? Eventually, for they're really going to become wings and bitches are going to fly away. <laughs> Average man rather than a high value man that every woman wants? I mean, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, that's what's happening. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's a sad world we live in. And you know what? And you know what? You have to date someone that's ugly to be treated right. I'm not, you know. Why is this fat, ugly bitch still talking about ugly people? You are literally the ugly bitch of the group. And the reason she doesn't realize how ugly she is is because she's with three bitches that are all better than her. So she thinks that she's on the same level. That's what happens when you're in a group of friends. They all kind of become the same. Once they split apart and they diverge, the attention gets spread apart. Because they're in a pack, go, go, go. She thinks she's valuable. Bro, she's so gassed the fuck up right now, and you're a three. Bitch, you're a fucking three. Stop insulting men. This is why we need to objectify women too, because this bitch is so fucking gassed up. One more time, let me hear her fucking self-esteem. I'm sick of it. Instagram and being with battered bitches. And that's why the other battered bitches like her around. They like her around because she's like, oh, she's the fat, funny one, but she doesn't challenge them. That's why they keep her around. They get to fuck the guys they want, and this fucking annoying fat bitch is the loudest one in the center. You know what? And you know what? You have to date someone that's ugly to be treated right.
That's why she's a masculine one. Haha, <laughs> she's the funny one. She's the fat one. Oh my god. Bro. I mean, you know what? I don't mean that. Look at these liars. Ha ha ha. She's so funny. She's so quirky. Call up Ashley. She's the funny one. They secretly hate her. They just like her because she takes up. They make her. They make the others look better. If she wasn't around, this ugly fat one the, right here, these bitches, I would call them sixes. They look like nines right now because of the three. Isn't that crazy? That psychological trick. And you know what? Don't they all look, chat? Don't you see it? It's a, if you cover her up. Cover her up right now. They're sevens. We're sixes. These bitches are sixes. Her? Now they're nines. It's a trick. It's an optical illusion. Fuck. You have to date someone that's ugly to be treated right. I'm not, you know what? I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Okay. I don't mean and, that. And, and finally, what are, your thoughts on, what are your thoughts on the following statement, okay? A man. That's why she's the one with the mic. She's just a loud drunk one. Yeah, let's drink tonight. We're going out. <laughs> loyalty is tested when he has everything, while a woman's loyalty is tested when her man has nothing. I think, I think that, that is yeah. so true. I'm the loud one! True, and we should end it on that. Yeah. Thank you, Vegas. See you soon. Woo! Eight percent, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? I know women. I know your relationships. That shit's all fraudulent. Once the fat one realizes her place in the dynamic, she doesn't see it right now. She's all gassed up. Once she sees it and she says, she's the one drunk crying on the steps here in front of the club. Get away from me! Get away from me! No! Mike, can you come pick me up? Oh my god, they're bitches. They didn't let me oh, in. Yo. Come pick me up! Get away! No, I'm not moving. No, I'm not moving. I can stay here all I want. I hate men. That's her. You know what I'm talking about, right? 8%? They're fake friends. Get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here. You're like a marathon. Okay, cool. The need to be right. Rules of Modern Dating is complicated. The new best YouTube channel. I'm putting you on before someone else does. We want equality with equal pay. I'm not trying to get beat my ass beat. I want equal pay because it's like, why am I going to college? I'm getting A's and B's and this yeah. C's. All right, let me, let, me, let, me, let me ask this. Let me ask this. Would you okay, she's about to make no sense. That's why it's the coming up thing. You see her with this? It's so funny because this guy's the most calm interviewer of all time. Very rational. Never mean. And he still triggers people. What's one thing that you wish men understood better about women? Where the clit is. Just that we're all different. And that it's, you know, we all have different needs, we all have different wants, and that it's not one size fits all. Okay, if all women are so different, why do we use the expression, know how to treat a woman? Wouldn't that imply that there's like a universal nature that all women exhibit? But you can't generalize because I'm special. That would, but like, what a bullshit thing to say. <laughs> so you don't, you don't agree with know how to treat a woman? You don't think that, that's a valid statement? Absolutely So not. how shouldn't a man treat a woman? Contradict yourself immediately. Watch, watch, watch. Boom, book up. Um, I don't think it's a universal statement. I think that if you're in a relationship with a woman, that you, that you under, <laughs> yeah, that you understand that. Well, let me ask this. Why do you think a It's so funny. I love this channel because they always start off so confident, and then in like two questions, he debunks them, and they uh, uh, it goes from, yeah, you should, uh, um, uh, 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 malfunction. A lot of guys have a hard time finding the clitoris if it's always in the same place. Because they're stupid. It's not that hard to find. They don't know how to touch it, please. They're scared of the shit. They're scared of it. They be looking at it like, what is that? I'm gonna go down. You want me to lick it? Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> no, you don't need to lick it. What you need to do, lift the flaps. It's like a little, it's like a window shade. Open them up, and you see that little like dick looking thing right there? That's the clit. Buy one of these. Hear that? Yeah. Put that right on the clit. It starts slow. It has two settings. And then you switch it up, double tap, you hear that double time. Woo! She gonna love that. And then she won't say, the men don't know where the clit is. Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. It looks like a little weenie. There are needs and wants, and that you... <laughs> Hi. Hi, I have, I have a question, I have a question. Can you consent real quick? Just, uh, you consent to being filmed? I just need you to Hi, consent. I'm Nicole. I'm consenting to this interview. Go ahead, yes, I have a question for you. Please, go ahead. What do you mean by that question of how does a woman act? Well, um, basically... You see how she's being triggered right now by a question? What do you mean? That's how, what do you mean? She's asking questions and she's getting all triggered and shit. Look at her go on a feminist rant. Oh, come on, bro. Basically, I'm saying, uh, well, I'm trying to challenge the idea that maybe there's like a, a general idea that a lot of women want to be treated a certain way and that's why they have that expression, know how to treat a woman. But, but do you believe in heterosexual relationships? I what the fuck? Do you think that was smart or something like that? Bruh. I believe in, in, yeah, all different types of relationships, even same-sex ones, of course, all, all different types. But yeah, um, let me, let me, let me... Look how dumb she looks, man. ...ask you this. It, do you think generalizing is okay to do in relationships? It's okay do to you? generalize. <laughs> well, if, if, um, if it wasn't, why would anyone ever bother giving relationship advice? Don't you have to have, like, certain, look for certain patterns to know how to, like... Is that why you're asking? Yeah. She's trying to get him so bad, bro, and he's the most rational, level-headed interviewer I've ever seen.
and he's still triggering these feminists for nothing. To look for a different pattern? Well, no, in other words, I'm saying like, if you couldn't generalize about men and women in relationships, why would there be- you Couldn't generalize in if, if you... Who, Did you hear that? Who's playing that? Couldn't if you couldn't generalize about what men and women want in relationships, obviously there's exceptions, right? But if there, if you weren't like general things that like men and women look for, why would there be best-selling books called Men Are From- what, Where's that coming from? Mars and Women Are From Venus, which generalize, or people ask about somebody's zodiac sign, which general- I don't like Mars! Okay. We need to cleanse. This is just a whole lot of holy fuck going on. Generalizes, right? Like when you say Scorpios act like this and Gemini's act like this, is that not generalizing? Oops. Is there a problem with generalizing? No, no, no. I'm, 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 I don't think there's. A she's looking. <laughs> she's looking to be triggered so bad. They only know how to be victims, man. Problem with generalizing. I'm asking you if you think that there's a problem with generalizing. <sighs> Bruh. Do you think generalizing is okay? Pass, wait. Bro, answer the goddamn question. Why does she need to be fucking triggered? Oh, well, I mean, if you, if you want to interview me, I'm just asking these questions. Well, I think the, the questions are so vague in that there's so many sanctions of relationship in the world that you're asking a Pass, crowd that wait. is heterosexual, and it just like... Well, I'll give you an example, okay? I acknowledge that there's exceptions. Like, for example, there are some women who will date short guys, but don't most women have a preference for a guy who's taller no, than them? No, disagree. So you don't think there's such a thing as most or, you know, you can't say most? There's no generalizations except when it's my astrology sign. People want this. Like, a lot of women are attracted to confidence. A lot of people say that. I, I confidence is different than height. Okay, but is that not generalizing? People generally no. want, but people generally want confidence, right? <laughs> Damn, she's dumb. This is when a girl only knows how to disagree. She got triggered by a question, and I know women. All she's gonna do is look to disagree now. I think that a, I think that a woman can could. Well, just people in general. You hear that, right? You hear that, right? That's not just my headphones. I don't like confidence, right? I'm a woman. Okay, okay. I'm not like that. Okay, prayer. This is this is just the West is going to hell, man. We're just going to shit. What's happening? Interested in men, so I can only speak to that. Sure. I think that. It is generalizing to say before I'm in the in, in a relationship or dating that I could say yes I'm into tall men, okay. and then I meet someone shorter than me and I fall in love, and that generalization ha, cancels out. I didn't say that there aren't exceptions. I said okay, there's exceptions. So then look at that triggered. She's only knowing. Look, whoa, have you ever seen a man answer questions like this? She looks like a deer in headlights right now. But I'm saying. So but the I, conversation is irrelevant. Well, well, the what? Half, we can't out. talk about generalizations until we're in this situation and the generalization in it. Do you see her friend in the back is like seeing the female nonsense? But this is what happens. I've made videos like this. As soon as you trigger them, they stop making sense. They just need to fight you. It cancels out. But, but at the same time. So it's not fair to put on camera and to hold me to a word of generalization wrong. until there are exceptions. I hope you see this. Whatever girl your name is, someone send it to her, someone knows her, send this video. You make absolutely no sense. And chat, tell her she makes absolutely no sense. Pass, wait. And I can say that women prefer tall men until they meet someone short and they All fall I'm in saying, love, and I, that's okay. I acknowledge that. What I'm saying is, does the exception make the rule? No. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying just because some women might prefer a short man doesn't mean that most women don't have a preference for taller men. Well, that's statistics that are outside of my ability to talk to. The statistics and the sources and the statistics. People are so dumb with the statistic nonsense, bro. You know that women prefer tall men. I'm tired of this. Big up the sources, but where is the facts that say that? Everyone knows this. Why are you disagreeing? No, I'm asking. I'm just asking your opinions. Asking like, like I said, yeah. I'm not willing to put my opinion on camera. You consented to it! Oh my fucking god! Chat, 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 chat. She stepped in and said, I consent to be interviewed. And this stupid bitch is saying, no, I don't want to say it on camera. Two minutes ago, you consented to it. Word for word. Word for word. Holy fuck. Oh my god! Holy fuck. I'm consenting to this interview. I don't like that! This is the fucking bullshit that I'm talking about. They are allowed to make absolutely no sense. They make no sense. And this is a nice guy. He's being so rational. He didn't say anything mean. There wasn't any leading questions. Questions trigger these hoes, bro. Something's going on, man. I don't like that! What happened in the West where this shit is normal? I've dealt with this. That's why I have to be on camera yelling in these streams now. I'm done doing these street interviews and trying to be nice. These bitches make no fucking sense, bro. Absolutely no fucking sense. Which do men enjoy more, the chase or the catch? The chase. The catch. Isn't the catch the man's goal and the chase the woman's goal? Yeah, but if you keep chasing that, then they won't want anyone else if they're still chasing that one girl. Okay. Don't women, but don't women want to be chased though? Yes, for okay, sure. So the chase is not the woman's goal? The chase is the woman's goal, I would say. I would say I do try to make the guy chase a little more. Has there ever been a guy you wanted that you weren't able to get? There's gotta be some girl watching us right now who's like, but not all women are like this. Just try to defend that fucking nonsense we just watched. Somebody justify that. Holy shit. It's too harsh, Nico. Bro, bro, I'm, that's not too harsh. That shit is literally childish nonsense. And I've dealt with the same shit.
Why is this happening now? How are questions triggering? You remember my video with that feminist? Is this your job? I'm just asking, like, I was just making a nice video, being respectful, asking about catcalling. Is this what you do? This is stupid. Because yes. I'm asking questions in a nice way. I'm done putting up with these fucking feminists, man. They're allowed to make no sense. Nope. So why do women complain about men when women are the ones choosing the shitty men? That's a good point. That is a good point. I've dated a lot I, of shitty men. <laughs> I've talked to shitty men. I haven't dated them. I have. <laughs> Is it true women typically want what they can't have? No. Yes. Depends. Wrong. Has there ever been a man you wanted that you weren't able to get? Yes. No. Maybe. They fall in love with that guy. For me, there's not a man. Everybody wants me. It's usually the man that wants me. Not to be cocky or anything, but it's never me trying to go for a man that I don't want. So is it typically true that women want what they can't have? Yes. 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 So then, would you agree that chasing women is terrible advice for men? Yes. Don't. If you give them attention too soon, they have nothing. They want what they can't get, so just ignore them. You know what a lot of the red pill bullshit is? It's just to say negging. That's like just being mean and insulting them from the front because then they feel like they need to fight for your attention. Don't be a dickhead, but just don't give them too much attention. Guys are deluded now. They get all on Twitch and just hand their money away. It's nonsense. You think that that's what gets a girl, writing a poem, giving them a fucking flower? No. They pity. They, there's nothing. You already give them all the love. All your female friends, you think that one day, if maybe I'm so friendly to her, I'll get a kiss. You look sad. Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? Did my stream turn off or what's wrong, man? I don't know. I'm on top of weird shit. Hello? Weird shit. Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wrong? Hello? Yeah, it's Did my stream yo, yo, turn off or what's wr
Oh. She pities you. You know who she wants? The guy who doesn't give a fuck about her. It's simple. Yes. Terrible advice. So then how is how is a man supposed to get a woman then without chasing her? <laughs> Treating him like garbage. Like shit. Treat him like she ain't shit and she'll fall in love. I'm sorry you're calling me a piece of shit maybe, but that's what it is. That's the game. You have to have game. You have to make her want. The chasing. Oh. Yeah, it's I think you without her knowing that you weren't her facts okay so like what advice would you have for men H how can he do that um treat her like shit don't be mean to her just don't give a fuck about her why you think i say ho and bitch all the time like, why would you say that word why would you because plus it works <laughs> why do you think pips call other bitches bitches or hoes because what, what what now they need to get the validation from that guy it's simple stuff bro you know you have to you have to you have to come at her and don't come in here and start calling like now it's run around and go outside and just say hey bitch hey bitch and then blame me no you need to say bitch properly i say it properly nah shut up bitch like what are you talking about you gotta like smooth you gotta say it and mean it if you're like no no bro 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 there's nothing cringier than that you gotta learn how to do it you gotta earn calling bitches hoes trust me don't blame me don't blame me hey, yo if i if more incels call you some mean shit, don't say that it's my fault bro and Buy us dinner. Take us out. Nope. Show us what you're about. Wrong. You know, and make it worth our while. And chicken wings and fries. We don't go on things. Then we'll we'll come on to you. Right, but I mean, how how will that lead to uh, like a romantic relationship as opposed to just being friend zoned? Because once we see what you can do, then we like you. Well, I mean, are there certain like boxes that the Wrong. man has to check off before he goes from friend zone to actually, you know, the hookup zone, the end zone? Well, my box is provider style other than that you know it's kind of open has there ever been a guy you wanted that you weren't able to get fuck no so why do women complain about men when women are the ones choosing the shitty men well the men are not half way literally so i'm gonna put it like this men they'll date you correct but then when you all start getting comfortable that's when they show that they're not shit and then that's when it comes on to the women's part of leaving the mother because if they're not shit then you need to fucking leave them but the first men should be shit in the first because why are you put on a whole persona just be not shit in the first place like you can't do all that if women what she's talking about right now, because women have very limited perspective on men, she's thinking of one specific guy who treated her like garbage and she's still tight about it. But she doesn't know how to talk about men in general. She's just talking about her ex that fucked her and left. Women are smarter than men. Why Which do they, they are. If women are smarter than men... Half wait, bruh. And why do they keep believing men's lies and opening up their legs? Because it's called manipulation. It's not opening up their legs. If I'm hearing something from man and I'm like, okay, why, first of all, why would you lie to me in the first place? If you're a liar, why are you doing it? It doesn't fall onto the woman, it falls onto the man, because what are you lying for? I don't like mom! They think it's manipulation to just be easy. To run around and be hoes. They're like, yeah, I'm manipulating you while you fuck me, dummy. Thank you, Howard, for the 70. Appreciate you, Howard. Howard in the chat. Howard keeps coming back. He said, L -l 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 telling you, this is the mark of Satan delusion. Women are better than men because we're smarter and I'm manipulating you by giving up pussy easily. You know what you think? You know what we think? You are hoe. You just get fucked and you think you're manipulating. By the time you hit 35, you ran through. I'm sorry. Nobody wants to wife you up at that age, man. Everybody hit. See? Is it true women typically want what they can't have? Um, no. That's my G. Look at that same shit as the girl before. Now she's mad, so all she's gonna do is disagree. This is how women think. Watch. Women can get whatever they want because men are easy. They say that women are sluts. The men are sluts because it's a little older. Oh, Chat, do you care if somebody, if a woman calls you a slut, do you care? Bitch, I'm with the, give me lit. I don't give a fuck. Men have to earn being a slut. You think you're delusional and you're a slut. No one cares. Men don't care. You think men ever call other men sluts? You know what women do to insult each other when their friendship ends? Call each other whores? Because that shit cuts deep. No man cares if we're called a slut. Baby, I'm the biggest slut in the goddamn world. Pull up. Are you kidding me? You joking? You think that hurts my feelings? That's a compliment. Your nice little hair, your edges looks good. Your jaws are off. Sluts, cause no. Listen. Women can get whatever they want because men are easy. They said that women are sluts. The men are sluts because it's a little, oh, you're nice, little hair. Some guy that she liked just left her and now she's mad. Their idea is just limited to the last guy they fucked. I'm telling you, Chad. Your was good. Your jaws are off. Why does so many. What, what genuinely, what the fuck are you talking about? Half like, way. Boom, book up. Women need to be right, even if they're wrong. Who says women need to be right? Well, how. <laughs> How many women are willing to concede in an argument? I will. If I'm wrong, I'm going to tell you I'm wrong. No, you won't. I will too. Oh, shit, my bad. I, I'm, I apologize. I was wrong. Yeah. I, mean, I read it wrong. wrong. Especially if I, I looked at the picture wrong. I yeah. looked at the message wrong. It was they don't know when they're wrong. They don't know how to. 
Nowadays, they're more egotistical than men. When they're wrong, they'll just keep on fighting. And actually, when they finally realize, when you out logic all their bullshit, all their nonsense, and weave all the insults, weave all the fucking attack, rah, 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 that's why you're insecure, that's why you're toxic, weave, 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 and you finally out logic them, you know what they do when they realize that they're wrong? Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, you wanna go to dinner? They never say, oh yeah, good point, you're right. Does that sound like a girl to you? Yeah, actually, you have a point. Girls don't say that, ever. Wasn't you, boo. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so do you think that, uh, who do you think is more likely to admit when they're wrong, men or women? Um, men will take it to the, men will take it to the fucking grave. Men will deny, 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 deny. deny. Well, men have to take accountability, because we have to think in logic, and you don't. You just get to argue and disagree, and, and, and but, but what about that? Shut up. How can say Gloria the Hippo, Gloria the Hippo and Dory getting interviewed right now? Don't call her a hippo, she's a queen. She's brave. Look how brave she is. She's so brave. There's like five rolls of bravery on her. It's incredible. Then why, women. why do we have the expression being the bigger man? That's not all the way true. Yeah, it isn't. You could be the bigger vagina. That's not the phrase, though. There's never a phrase, be the bigger woman. She's the bigger woman. Be the bigger man is what we have to do. A bigger pussy. Yeah. Well, then why don't we have that expression? Bigger clit. <laughs> I'm not like that! They, look, and they get to make no sense. Bigger clit. Ha <laughs> ha. Literally like third grade humor. And they just laugh at nothing. They don't need to make sense, bro. And stop putting whale in the chat because she's a queen. And then they're gonna blame me and then call me and say that I'm appealing to incels. This is not no women hate shit. This is just women logic shit. I'm trying to show y'all that they make goddamn no fucking sense, man. I don't like that! And we need to just weave around it. Because I really want to fall in love. I want to have kids with a girl. I love women. But nowadays they make absolutely no sense. And it's just so difficult to work around. This video proves it, bro. They make no sense. There's no logic. They're all delusional. They all look blah, 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 And I want to love them. This is not me appealing to incels. I want to love you. But you're so unlovable and annoying. <laughs> Ew. Why do women often tell themselves to never settle? Oh, because we do so much work. Like once you get into a relationship, we're gonna be constantly doing all the work. So if you settle from the beginning, you're gonna just be miserable. You're gonna be is, settled. Is the man not doing a lot of work by being a provider? Uh, you think about this stuff, man. No, not necessarily. Well, what, what's all the work that the women are talking about doing? Well, we're kind of like our men's making your lashes longer. Manager, like we make sure you're up on time. We make sure you're doing things right. Make sure you're up on time. You're not my mom. I know when to wake up. I can take care of myself. We don't need you. Focus on yourself so that they can't say this shit. What? Wake up on time? You set an alarm, so I owe you. All right, we make sure you look presentable. We we're like your. But I mean, if a man wasn't capable mom. of doing all that stuff himself, would a woman even find him attractive in the first place? No. Nope. You need to already be focused. You need to already be good. But look at her. She's not getting thought about this, bro. Fuck. No. Well, we don't know that at first. We don't know that. Well, I mean, so. obviously, I mean, a man has to be able to take care of himself in order to have the status and the, the physique and, you know, all the discipline that, you know, women would find attractive yes. to begin with, right? Yes, but that level is what men require and what we bring to the table is on two different levels. What we, what we want and what we, what we bring. What does a woman bring to the table? Nothing. You leave this on my table and then I want to throw them out because it looks like five dead mosquitoes. That's all you bring. You don't pay for shit. You make no sense. Your pussy stinks. You're annoying. You believe in astrology. You have no logic. All you do is disagree. You think you're toxic and no, crazy. Kind of you have no that's, that's unique personality. Place, you bring Struggle, nothing to the table. So chat, focus on yourself. I'm not promoting like the, the girls in the comments are going to be like, you're promoting violence against women. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is you should yes, cleanse sir. your energy. Stay away from these I'm not like that! Distance yourself. Focus on yourself. Make them work for your attention. Because the reason they're like this is we're all competing for just a glimmer of attention. We're all on Twitch. I love you. I love you. We're all on OnlyFans. Here's money. Here's money. Fuck that. Work on yourself. Make them chase you. Because when you start focusing on they can't help it. They need you. Right now, the reason they're all making no sense is because it's so easy to get attention from men. Like, like, like I said, we're like the manager. We put you in position so you... Just repeat the same shit. You're my manager, bitch. Are you kidding me? You're not my mom. Can be better. Have you ever... Con that just made no goddamn sense, bro. But they all sound like that. And then if there's going to be girls in the comments like, Well, I'm not like that. You're all like that. Consider the possibility you might end up a lonely old cat lady. I have. I think about it every... W question, man. It's complicated. I need you on the stream. I need to talk to this guy. And it's so funny that every video is like, just doesn't support the views because he's such a nice, rational interviewer. I don't know how he's done all these videos and how he's still sane. Holy fuck, I would snap. Every day, it's so hard to get someone who understands you and... Why are the women who say they won't settle okay with settling for living and dying alone with a dozen cats? Because... They're egotistical and they don't want to ever admit that they need a man or that maybe they failed in the dating game. During all their life they think they deserve better, they deserve better, and the years pass and then they yeah. end up being alone. Because you'll have peace. <laughs> peace. Your peace of mind is priceless. Well, yeah, but why would women who about? can't have everything choose to settle for nothing? 
because that's not nothing. Like, you have your- It's nothing. Cats? Uh, Half way. So, like, sometimes if you get the wrong then, man, it just chips away at the, you and you'd be like, I will just rather deal with my cats than to be yes. doing all this work. Is it true women typically want what they can't have? Yes. So would, w honesty. would you agree that chasing women is terrible advice for men? All yes, exactly, bro. This channel's good. It's not, why not I know women hate incel shit? I'm just promoting that we should focus on ourselves. Stop wasting your time with them. Because they, whoa, they think that we need to put up with everything, and they put up with nothing. If you show a glimmer of weakness, they start acting up like children. Like children. You need to put them in timeout. You need to punch them. You really need to, like, you know, it's like, okay, I'm not going to talk to you for a week. It's like timeout when you were a kid. That's how you got to treat bitches nowadays. Dude, all men do is chase women. Stop. Stop chasing them. The, the boyfriend I have, I chased him, and I still chase him to this day, because he's not shit. Don't- And, uh, he's not shit. You're on camera saying your boyfriend's not shit. I know, like, mom! Don't- don't women- <laughs> don't women end up- <laughs> My boyfriend's not shit! <laughs> See what I'm saying? You think a guy would get on camera and say my girlfriend's not shit, and then hysterically laugh like a hyena? You can't do that. We need to put up with everything, and they're allowed to do it. Look at that face. She just said my boyfriend's not shit. And look how happy she is about it. Don't women end up working for a man's attention if he's the high value man she says she wants? Kev dot be not, uh, just says be gay then? No, what the fuck? Get out of my stream. Thanks for the money. But no, I don't want to. I love women. That's why I'm so mad about this stuff. I want to settle down eventually. Not settle down, but I want to be with a good woman. And all of them are delusional now, bro. They're all going through their whole phase. They all make no sense, believe in astrology, want to get lip fillers. I'm toxic. Fuck out of here, bro. You want me to have kids with you? It's like I gotta raise my kids and you gotta raise your bitch now. I want a good woman, and it's hard to find. There's no high value men out here for real. Shut up. Shut I up. No beast of <laughs> There's no high value men? No, there are some high value men, me. but they're not a lot. That's the thing. Women are the prize. That's what the people get. You're not the prize. You see how fucking. Chat, is she the prize? You hear how. Women are the prize! Yeah, I'm the prize! You need this pussy! You're masculine. There's nothing feminine about you. We want somebody submissive. You're not the prize because you got a pussy. <laughs> you got lashes and delusion in your head. Chat, is she the prize? Talk to her. 2,500 people in here. Is she the prize? Let her know. She gonna see this. I know, like, mom! Talk, talk, talk to him. Well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. If, if high value men are rare, why wouldn't the high value man be the prize? They're not the prize, because what, what was there a There's prize less of them to go around. The man? They're more rare. Yeah, where are they? I, I've been searching. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. That would make them a prize. A diamond, a, prize. a diamond is a prize because no, it's rare. No, no, the women are the prize because women, they got a pussy, you know what I mean? See, see, she thinks she's the prize because she got a pussy. Do you see how delusional they are? Just having a pussy is enough to be a prize. Them. But even if you're the top high value man, a fucking multi-millionaire who could give you everything, make you happy, is still never the prize to these fucking delusional bitches, bro. But she's the prize because she got a pussy. I'm not promoting no incel shit. I'm promoting us, bro. Someone donated 10 and said hard times will create better men. Salute, bro. This is the hard time. We need to focus on ourselves. I'm not promoting no women hate bullshit. I don't, I don't violence against women. Get the fuck out of here. I would never get a girl. I don't even want to do that. I just don't want to be around these delusional hoes. Focus on yourself. Let's get some money. Let's get in shape type shit. All that fucking nonsense. Let's be smarter. Let's learn more. Let's focus on ourselves. Oh, I'll stream, I'll stream, I'll stream. Stop watching Prawn. Get off of Twitch. Get off of OnlyFans. Stop giving them attention for nothing. Because they're turning goddamn delusional. They think their pussy's so valuable and it smells. <laughs> One more time. A diamond is a prize because no, it's rare. No, no, the women are the prize because women, they got a pussy, you know what I mean? I know, like, mom! You see what I'm saying? At the same time, Howie says she's, she's admitting all she has is a body. Facts, bro. That's all she got. And the same time, I'm not an object. My personality, she thinks she's the prize because she got a pussy. This is exactly, that sums it up. That sums it up. I love this channel. I can't believe she said that with so much conviction. And there's nothing feminine left about you. Do you want to be with a wife who's like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm the prize. I'm the prize. I have a pussy. Fuck my pussy. Yeah, I have a vagina. Fuck that. Focus on yourself. It's not worth it. It's better to just beat your meat once in a while and get off the internet. Stop giving away your dopamine and sperm and testosterone. We are becoming weaker and they're turning into men. Look at her. Is there anything feminine about this? <laughs> All she got is a pussy and nothing feminine. Pussy makes the world go round. A man so, got a dick. So, so a woman, so, wait, wait, wait. Pussy makes the world go round exactly. So stop giving them attention. Pussy make, makes the whole entire world go round. Okay, if all the men in the world were gay, how would pussy have power? I really hope they were, because at this point, what the f is going on? You make no sense is what's going on, man. Hello, I'm like, mom! Wrong. Hats, wait. No, women still have power either way because... We're a woman, you know what I mean? A man. We have power because we're a woman. They don't have to do fucking anything. She just is a woman. 
This is exactly, bro, this interview just proves it. And she's so dumb, she doesn't realize how dumb she looks on camera. She thinks this is some, like, she thinks it's empowering. She thinks she's having a moment. You look stupid. Look at everyone in the chat. Bro, everyone in the chat is probably waking up to this shit right now. People are donating money because of your stupidity, bitch. Benzo Garcia put up this. He's finally realizing. JV Victor said, this is why this type of message is so important. It's why gays, like guys like Tater blowing up, the world needs it. Men have never been weaker. Men are turning into fucking pussies, and women are turning into this. Into this. Bro, you know what she believes? She's toxic. You know what she believes? Her star sign. She watches Kim Kardashian. She's on Instagram all day. She wants to be an influencer. They all think the same fucking thing. I guarantee fucking to you. A man is a man, but a woman is a woman. I thought women wanted equality. Do women want to be equal or special? We want equality with equal pay. I'm not trying to get beat my ass beat. I want equal pay because it's like, why am I going to college? I'm getting A's and B's and this nigga got C's. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. this. Is, this Would you rather... What are you... Like, genuinely, what is she talking about? Grades? Grades do not... She thinks that grades mean that she deserves more money. Like, they are so goddamn delusional and we still put up with it. They will never... They'll never learn. They won't. They don't have to because they'll, they'll keep getting attention. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, wait, okay, hold on, hold on, would you rather have a high-profile job for no pay or clean sewers for $100,000 a year? I would clean sewers if it's more- Wrong. For money. Okay. No, you wouldn't. She wants to be an Instagram influencer, bro. You think most women would choose to do that? Um, I don't know what, what, what most women choose, but I'm talking about- See what I'm saying? When girls get like this, they all think the same thing, bro. It's so predictable. She's just gonna keep on disagreeing because she doesn't know how to be wrong. That's what it is. She's in a fight right now. This guy's just asking questions and she's in an argument. Imagine dating her. Imagine putting up with this. Me. Okay, no, I get that, but I'm saying I've interviewed hundreds of women and most women actually would not choose a dangerous, dirty job. Is that possibly why a lot of women get paid less? <laughs> well, if you're not willing to put in the work to get money, then that's on your that's all that's your fault. Do you think most women want to do the dangerous, dirty job? It's most not men... most women. It's not. Goodbye. Well, sometimes I'm why not gonna we, lie. Why I'm not we, taking trash out. Well, why, why, well, why do we why do we have the expression that's a man's job? Because certain things are a man's job. Well, job because it's like why gotta take the trash out? She's just saying nothing right now. She's just arguing. She's just disagreeing. It's a, it's childish. It's really fucking childish, and they just expect us to put up with it. But there's a man in the house. Right. So I'm just or saying. Lift heavy things. Well, right. But it's just... when I'm talking about equal rights, I want equal pay. I want equality. I'm not trying to. I want to walk through and feel safe. That's what I want. But, you, but, but, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, but period. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, is it? It's the period for me. They all have the same personality too. They all get it from online. They download it from Meg the Stallion and Sweetie and Cardi B. Nothing unique about them, bro. This is the face of a girl who just got fucking too many dicks ran through her that didn't love her. And now, like, bro, you just look goofy on this video. It's tough because no one's gonna want to wife you up now. I'm sorry, and I'm not just saying about my chat. Like anybody who would even consider wifing you is gonna see this interview. It's gonna be tough for you. It's gonna be tough. I don't know your name, but DM me if you actually do find a relationship or don't. I don't care what you do. Is it fair to, is it fair to say if you want equal privileges, you need equal responsibilities? No, I want. Why is responsibilities with equality? Because you I'm just take, trying to get equal pay. Because you gotta take why the bad with the good. Why don't you all the extra shit? If I can't, why can't I have equal pay? Don't you have to take the bad with the good? No, you do not. We should have equality. Period. Period. I told you. I told you. Period. I did it before she did it. They all have the same personality. And then people are mad. Wait, so why don't you just go be with men? It's because y'all are annoying. Nothing unique about you. You see what I mean? You know what I mean? So you want equality only when it benefits you? Um, no, I want equality, period. Because why, why don't we have a... Period. I need to add that to the soundboard. Quality. It should be benefiting women because at the end of the day, men have more privilege than, than women do. How's and it's just like that shit. That first of all, a man can walk the streets without fi without feeling safe. So yesterday, I'm trying to go to a man can watch the street. Okay. Goddamn Walgreens, and I'm getting cat called. Oh I'm getting God. called a bitch. My shoe got taken from me yesterday. All taken. Because I'm from a man. All because I'm a woman. A man can walk the street and they can feel safe. If I'm out here, past you hear that? Do you hear her voice? Imagine, imagine being in a relationship with that every day, every argument. Every time she's on a period, imagine hearing that. Look at her face right now. This is the face uh, of a bitch on her period when she's mad at you. You're gonna have to put up with that. And all she got is pussy. Listen to her. And I'm getting catcalled. I'm getting called a bitch. Bitch, my shit. Let's just end it. Let's just just see it. Please tell me it mess it up and you actually were at this here. Oh, this is not the game, so. Uh -huh. What is it? That's audio here, window. Play, transform. Fit the screen. Increase the quality to 720. You got took it from me yesterday, all because I'm from a man, all because I'm a woman. A man can walk the street and they can feel safe. If I'm out here past a good 1 2 p.m., I'm scared and I'm gonna go home. Are you aware? It's not any incel women hate you. I'm not trying to appeal incels. I'm just trying to point out y'all are annoying. Y'all are really annoying. You hurt my ears, bro.
Men are 90 plus. Where the statistically men are the highest victims of violent crime? Where? Um, men are 90% 90 of homicide victims. Men delete themselves 90% more than women. Or the stats, bro? This stupid bitch, bro. 78% of homicide victims are men. This stupid bitch, bro. Show me. I want to see it. Okay, I'll show I don't you. believe that. I'll show you. I'll show you. Show I want to see it. I mean, I agree with you. Women are the victims of, vi of the sexual crime, but men are the victims of violent crime. But it's still crime, period. Just run out. The personality is all the other dumb hoes. Uh, where is it? the TikTok? Oh, man. Tick. Tick. Uh, this is me right now. Enjoy.